are here. That was a nice three and a half hour drive. But look at where we are, Pine Valley, Utah. And we are finally getting back out for an overnight here. We're gonna go hit the Whipple Trail. Awesome trail up here. I've actually done this twice before, so this is gonna be my third time doing it. Really cool trail. It sends up the side of the mountain here and you end up in this beautiful meadow. So we're gonna spend the day climbing up a mountain and enjoying this beautiful area. So Sam drove us up here today and we got some good company. We got Sam, we got Connor. It's gonna be a boys trip, baby. So we're just pulling in right now. We're gonna change up here, finish packing the, getting the packs ready, and then uh, we'll be hitting the trail here. So let's get it, baby. Beautiful day, can't wait. Let's make it happen. Yo, let me see them shoes, dog. Yo. We outside. <laughs> Connor's got these freaking Apollo 13 space walkers right here. Hello? Yes, this is speed. Blast off. <laughs> All right, boys, we ready? Let's get it. Let's get it, baby. All right, so Whipple Trail. This is a really awesome trail. It's about uh, 14 miles round trip. It's an out and back, so seven out, seven back. It's got about 3,000 feet of elevation gain. So right now at the trailhead right here, we're sitting at about 7,100. And the valley that we get up to sits right at 9,000 feet. So we got about... Uh, uh, we go up this way to the left. Uh, we got about 3,000 feet of elevation gain, so it's definitely going to be uh, a little bit of a push. But there's some good switchbacks, and there's one false summit that you go over. So it's a really fun trail, and beautiful is my favorite part. Big trees. Once we start getting a little elevation here, you can see out over all of Pine Valley. Super, super cool. We got a beautiful day to be out here. High is going to be like 85 today and uh, low tonight, maybe down in the 50s, 40s. Temperature says 55 is the low, but I think that's for down here at the trailhead. So as soon as we start climbing, we might see some uh, lower temps tonight, but eh, I'm not worried. We got all the good gear. We're going to stay nice and warm tonight. So trail is beautiful. Time to make a little mileage. Time to see where this trail will take us. All right, water's running. That's a good sign, huh, boys? Okay. Hopefully we won't be dry camping tonight. There's a couple of good spots where we cross the river as we ascend here. So if this is uh, still running like this, most of the way up the mountain, hopefully we'll just have to pull a little bit maybe before we make camp, but looks pretty nice. I love this area. So cool. All this beautiful greenery. Man, super cool. All right, well, the trail continues right over there. Connor's already on it, so let's go hit it. some water here it's definitely warm it's only like 85 out but we're all sweating and it's definitely pretty humid so definitely starting to feel the push we just passed a couple <laughs> hikers who were coming down this way and they said that there's a fire somewhere up ahead on the trail um, we kind of tried to ask them if they were like turning people around because apparently there's some uh, like BLM fire firefighters out here already and they couldn't really give us a straight answer, so we actually don't know what we're rolling into here. Um, we're all of the opinion, if they do turn us back, we're just going to try to find another spot close by, somewhere to spend the night and maybe get out on a shorter trail. But if they let us through and they say it's no danger, you know, we're going to send it. So, ah, uh, yeah, should be interesting here when we get up and find out what's actually going on. Wow. That ain't a bad view, boys. Oh, 
Oh, we just stopped for our first little water break right here, a nice little shade. Like I said earlier, it's, it's warm out and we're definitely starting to feel it. So I thought I'd mention right when I started the video, I talked about the trail and I was saying that this is my third time doing it. And you know, if you look back through my videos, you're not gonna see a Whipple Trail video anywhere on there. And that's because the first two times I did this was before I even started filming for my channel. And uh, before I even had a YouTube account. And pretty weird to think, but all that's out there is some uh, Snapchat footage that I have. So maybe if I can go through my phone and uh, pull it off my memories or something, at the end of the video, I'll drop a couple of these little Snapchat clips from my last hikes up here. And I always love coming back to a spot you've done before and you know, your gear has changed. You know what you're doing a little bit better. And uh, it's always just cool knowing a trail a little bit and being familiar and being able to say, oh, now we're here, or we have to go over here. And pretty cool and uh, pretty wild. First time I did it was for my birthday in May. And there was still snow up here and myself and my fiance Bianca, we literally didn't even make it all the way up to the meadow and we just snow camped, just literally packed out a spot just for the tent and snow camped. And then the second time we did it, we actually did make it all the way up to the valley. So or up to the meadow. Um, and that's, that was amazing. Super beautiful. So that's definitely where we're pushing for today. And uh, to get back up there, definitely, definitely looking forward to that. But the trail is beautiful. You can tell I'm huffing and puffing a little bit, but man, the higher we keep getting here, just look at these views. Pretty cool. Beautiful. bad, huh boys? So when Bianca and I came up here the very first time, this was snow. I mean, this last probably mile that we were coming up here, we were literally post holing every step. No trail ahead of us, no one had broken trail. We were literally deep step, deep step, deep step. It was just horrible. You know, it was kind of asinine of me to think that we could make it all the way up here. But uh, you know, we gave it a shot. So this is where we ended up. And I mean, you can imagine this was probably four feet of snow on top of it. We didn't even see the bushes or anything. It was just a kind of a nice flat mound of snow. 
and we literally just tamped it down and threw the tent up right there and that was it. So pretty wild. I mean, it's just the seasons change and you know what's accessible one year or one time of year is completely under snow and other. So this means we're getting pretty close to that first fall summit. The trail's gonna keep shooting straight ahead right up here and then we're gonna come to a little opening where it uh, comes between this one and another mountain, this mountain and another mountain. And we might take a little uh, break for lunch right there. And oh, wow. Yeah. Do you guys smell that yeah. now? Okay, so we heard like a uh, firefighter down there uh, ahead of us somewhere on the trail. We could hear it's like walkie talkie. And now as I'm talking right here, we come around a corner and we can really Fine. smell some smoke. So uh, we might, uh, might get turned around here. We'll see what happens. Holy cow. There's a heli right there with a basket on it. Oh, it's coming right over the top of us. Wow. drops non-stop I think that's what do you think I was like five or number five or six so far yeah that's, yeah, that's crazy so we're just stopping for a little lunch break had the trail sub as usual and we're just chilling here enjoying a little shade okay we're back on the trail we're just cruising here all packed up we're gonna cruise down and i think that firefighter guy that was hanging with us for a second said we're gonna walk right by the fire so or where it was anyway so hopefully we can go see him say what up and walk by but so yeah that family i don't they must have come up here and maybe they saw the smoke but um from what he said it wasn't that big so i don't know if they actually saw an active fire if they came this far or if they just like we did like crested that little saddle and smelled smoke and turned around so who knows but according to him no closure they're gonna let us through and they have it under control i guess already so we're gonna keep going all right that's it. Yeah. apparently it was from a lightning strike but yeah you can see it's definitely still going all right let's move through it looks like the, ch the chopper's coming again boys Wow. That's wild. Not every day you can see that. No, that is absolutely insane. Not every day we get fires right off the trail either. I know. Like I don't want to say it can drop in the way it's just not like the greatest one. It's nice to switch up your daily routine out of it. Yeah. Absolutely. Fucking A. That's cool. We good to go? I feel like I have some miles on it. Thank you guys. Yeah, you guys enjoy your trip. Yo, give me some love, man. Thank you, brother. Yep. Thank you. 
that saddle right there, that's where we just had lunch. And we came kind of down that ridge line, down into the valley right here. And then now we've just been following this trail. And boys are just up ahead right here. Unfortunately, we came down into the little valley right here and there was no water running. So that's uh, not a very good sign. Means there might not be water even up at the top. Um, I'm okay, I still have three liters. So um, even worst case scenario, if we don't find water, I've got more than enough for today and tomorrow. Um, and fortunately tomorrow, it'll be 90% of the day just going downhill. We got one little uphill right here and that'll basically be it. And the one coming out of the meadow. But other than that, should be an easy day going back tomorrow. So if I can ration my water, uh, I should be okay. This is it, highest point on Whipple Trail. Right here, baby. Woo! Mm -hmm. Give me a woo. Woo! Oh man, that is a freaking butt kicker. It is just like constant up the whole way. And there are some steep sections there, but we are cresting the top. And now it's flat here for a little bit, and then we cruise downhill into Whipple Meadow. And then we just gotta find a place to call home for the night. Pretty sweet. Let go. Wow. Oh my goodness. Here we are, boys. We freaking made it. Yo! Looks like there's one other person up here, but hell yeah, this is legit. All right, so now we're just gonna keep following this trail and kind of explore this valley here and uh, just see if we can find a nice spot for dinner and let's go home for the night. And I'm hoping we can walk around the valley here and maybe find some water that's cached somewhere. So let's see. Pretty beautiful though. Oh, how beautiful is this? Look at that dramatic. Home for the night. Dude, that's the real deal. And uh, yeah, we got this beautiful little spot. It's uh, pretty sweet. And we found some water. Uh, so a little questionable source over here. It's kind of some stagnant pools But we were able to uh, kind of get out into the middle of it and scoop out some water and you, know, you can see it filtered out I mean, It filtered out clear. See that don't look too bad Little little tinge to it, but I mean I have enough now that everything I pulled I'll just use for cooking So it doesn't matter really anyway or anything else. I'll just throw uh, 
some of my electrolyte powder in it. You know, he won't taste it anyway, so. Awesome, we found some water, love that. Found a cool spot to spend the night. Uh, the bugs are a little, little bad. Not horrible, but they're a little bad. None of us brought bug spray. So we're all just kind of throwing on some layers here, try to keep them at bay. There's no fires allowed. Obviously we're in a huge fire ban right now <laughs> since we saw a freaking forest fire that we hiked through today. So uh, no fire for us tonight. Uh, you know, we definitely do have our little stoves to make some good hot food, but no campfire. So uh, yeah, we'll just layer up to keep the bugs away. And hopefully once the temp drops a little bit, that'll help keep them away too. So Connor's already claimed a spot right over there. I'm thinking I'm gonna go right over here, maybe somewhere. I'm not sure yet, still have to decide. Still got it to side. We'll see. Lots of good options. All right, home Hi, is made for the night. We're all pretty close right here, but we kind of all snuggled in on this one little good flat spot in this split site we found. So, my setup rocking the Big Agnes Fly Creek UR1 Platinum for my tent. I got my Thermarest uh, Zether Max in there, keep me nice and warm. My Nemo Kayu 15, and I got my Sea to Summit pillow. So my setup is looking pretty cozy. Sam is right over here. And Connor's right over here. Yo, looking cozy. A, yeah, if there's a bee in there when I get back, I'm gonna be buzzing. You're gonna be buzzing. buzzing. <laughs> there are little bugs out right now, but I think once the temp starts dropping, they're gonna go away here, so. Um, I think it's time to get some food set up and uh, start thinking about some dinner because I'm hungry. But I think before that, we're going to do a little happy hour, even though it's like 7.35 right now. Uh, we had a great day. It was an awesome day on the trail today. This is such a cool trail, doing this for my third time now, getting to see it again from another perspective and now with a totally different pack and kit. And, you know, it's awesome to be able to come back to places like this and you know, you have it in your memory for so long and then you do the trail again and you forget parts of it and how tough certain sections are, or, you know, little things about the trail. And then you hike it again and you get to re-experience all those great things. So super cool. We got an awesome little site here for the night. We're just going to start getting some food ready. I'm going to make a little drinky drink. And yeah, and we're just going to relax and enjoy the evening here. So time to start winding down and enjoy this beautiful night here in Whipple Meadow. Life is great. All right, baby. A little drinky drink for tonight. We got a vanilla Coke and some of the Kraken dark spiced rum. And now we are just kicking back here, relaxing. I'm about to enjoy this beautiful evening. It's weird because vanilla Coke. Sure you don't want a little shot in there? Oh, did you already chug it? Yeah, baby. Yo, cheers, my dude. Hey, oh to whip to the Whipple. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, we got dinner round one going. Connor, you want to uh, explain what's on the dinner menu tonight? Yo, we have a little bit of white rice. Okay. Okay. Some Trader Joe's. Indian fare tikka vegetables or tikka, uh, and then a little bit of canned chicken. Ooh. So, a little collaboration between the two. We both left a few uh, key items, but I think it's gonna work out for the best. So, we're excited. You know, that's the best part of bringing people on the trail is you know it always ends up working out well. Yeah. All right, and for me, I have actually not set up my dinner yet. It's all over here. I am gonna do some sausage and. Uh, sausage and four cheese ravioli and I got some red sauce and then Parmesan and chili flakes so I'm gonna set my can up here in a minute and get going but I'm still just enjoying my coke and chilling here so yeah boys and she getting dark we really had no sunset tonight no color which kind of bummed me out Yeah. Um, 
Should have got a bigger pot. <laughs> okay, just boiled my uh, ravioli, so now they're all hot and chilling right here. I'm quickly boiling some more water, and I'm gonna dump my pasta sauce into that, bring it up to a boil, and then just dump it over the top here. I've also got on the side a little uh, Parmesan and chili flake, and that's gonna make my dinner for tonight. So let's get it going. Oh yeah, all right. Yo, shoot bracken. Yo, shoot, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that was really good. <clears throat> all right, well, we're just getting ready for bed. Dinner was awesome. We just ended up hanging out and watching <laughs> the stars. Pretty beautiful place. Definitely a hard day of hiking to get up here, but we all made it in one piece. We're all in good shape. So glad we found water. I'll probably have to filter some more in the morning for breakfast and to get all the way down. But other than that, just relaxing in the tent now. Might put part of a movie or something on my phone quick to pass out to that. But uh, nice and warm. I don't think it's going to get too, too cold tonight. Maybe down into the 50s, but I got my 15 degree back here, so I'm going to be more than good. So with that, I think that's going to be a good night. I'll see you all in the morning. Oh, good morning. We are just getting up here. Boys are all moving. Sam's already up and out of his tent. Connor and I are still just waking up. We woke up some bees. I don't know if you can hear them, if the GoPro will pick it up or not, but they're like flying all over. I wonder if there's a hive around here or something. Or they might just be attracted to the tents because of their colors. They think we're like a bunch of big flowers. Oh, but I slept pretty good. I had some weird dreams, but I slept pretty hard, which was awesome. I only remember waking up once or twice throughout the night, so that was good. And now we're just about to get up, make some breakfast, break down the tents, and make some moves on out of here, so. Oh, beautiful morning here in Weppel Middle. I'm about to get up and I'll show you what I'm looking at here right out of the view of my vestibule. Pretty nice. Not a bad spot to have called home last night. I think we were all pretty tired from that ascent by the time we came through that little gap in the trees and walked right out into the meadow it was like oh we're home we can find a place to call it for the night it was good found the spot psyched we found some water i'm definitely gonna have to filter some more this morning but we got it here so we're good to go yeah, look at more. Like cruising around crazy all right gotta get out of here let's do it Alright boys, how'd we sleep last night? Like a rock. Like a rock? Medium rare for me. I think Sam took some day quill <laughs> instead of night quill. So I think he was on he was robo tripping all night. <laughs> he was like, oh I had some crazy dreams. <laughs> He's vibing out over there. He's on the day quill train at two in the morning. <laughs> It's like, I don't understand. I felt really weird. He's like ready to hike back. <laughs> we wake up and Sam's just pacing around the campsite all packed up. It's like, I just feel great, guys. Let's go. All right. Time for a little brekkie. All right. Breakfast this morning. We got a Pop-Tart. I got a, uh, a blueberry oatmeal. I got a peanut butter, I got two little coffee packs, and you know me, stay repping that Mount Hagen dog. I got two little honey packs, and I love this stuff, man, this little, little sweet and condensed milks. They're kind of heavy, they're kind of obnoxious, but man, for a nice coffee in the morning, pretty dang nice. He's getting a good boil going here. Yes, Crab boil. <laughs>
All right, that is it. We are all packed up. We're gonna drop our packs right over here and go back to that same water hole we were at yesterday and pull some water out for our descent. There's a nice pool right at the bottom that we'll probably have to pull some from so we have a little water to drive out of here with. Oh, but we're gonna drop our packs right here and go get some water. Connor, the ultimate wingman with Oren here, getting that fresh mountain spring water. You can tell here, it looks <laughs> absolutely delicious. <laughs> it's gonna get the boys all the way down, back to the car. All right, we filled up some water and the flies are pretty bad back there. So the flies are bad back there, the bees were bad at our campsite. I don't know what that was all about, but I kind of get it. Flies are, you know, if you're by water, you're gonna have insects. So. Um, at least it was nice and green, and at least we found some water. So now it's coming back to our packs. We're gonna pack back up, make moves on out of here. Hail to the yeah. Oh, how insanely beautiful is this place. So cool. I love that this is three hours from where I live, and it's in a totally different biome. I'm used to hiking in desert sage and sand everywhere and you come up here and it's just this beautiful lush greenery. Super nice. Uh, I love this trail. It is brutal. That uphill definitely kicks your butt. But the reward at the end of the day, just fabulous. Well, we're making moves on the trail here. We got a nice little uphill right here. And that'll get us to the saddle. And nice descent down into the valley. One little uphill right by where we saw that fire yesterday. And then it's all downhill back down to the car. So we're cruising and we'll probably stop for lunch somewhere along the way. I didn't filter a lot of water back there just because the flies were so bad. So I just filled up my dirty bag right there. And at a certain point today when I need to, we'll just uh, stop and pull some water so on the trail. Let's go. We just made it to where they were fighting that fire yesterday. You can see all the runoff from all the water that they dropped. That's pretty crazy. And those guys just romped straight up the mountain here to get to this spot. But you can see pretty charred out. I mean, it was definitely going. When we came by here yesterday, there was still quite a bit of smoke. They got it all put out. Super thankful for people like that and what they do. Man, putting their life on the line to hike out in the middle of nowhere here and put out a fire. I mean, that's crazy. But one spark and this whole place goes up in flames. Whoo! And now we're just climbing back up to that first little saddle. I think we're gonna stop there for a little lunch and take a break. So, yes. Get this whole uphill section over with. Okay, well we stopped for a little lunch here. We got up to that saddle where we had lunch the first day. And little lunch today for me, I got a, um, did a little chicken salad. So I got my 
canned chicken, some chips, and then a little mix here, some relish, some Dijon, salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna mix me up a little chicken salad. So I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna get into this quick and uh, I have to charge my camera. So have a little lunch, charge my camera, and then back on the trail here to finish us out. So yeah, definitely gonna take a couple minute break once we get to the bottom there and sit in that little river for a minute. Cool the feet off. Just cool down for a minute. It's a little warm today, but nice little breeze, so it feels good. <sighs> okay, let's get it. All right, back on the trail. Have a nice little lunch break. Right up on the saddle there, there's an awesome breeze that comes ripping through, so it felt good to take the shirt off, just get some fresh air, cool off a little bit, relax and enjoy a little lunch. Made a nice little tuna salad or a chicken salad. I don't need a lot of tuna out on the trail. I know a lot of backpackers, they swear by, you know, the, the little tuna packets. I just cannot do it, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird like that, maybe I'm the only one. But I would rather have chicken over tuna any day of the week. <laughs> so we're just cruising back on the trail. And from here, it is a straight shot all downhill back to the car. First little spot right here. We're Pine Valley Mountain Wilderness Dixie National Forest. Beautiful. And uh, we're just back to this first little river spot that we found. And I think we're gonna dump the packs and soak our feet for a second. Oh yeah! Woo! Holy hell, that feels good. Oh. Holy cow. Oh yeah. Woo wee and we made it baby. We're alive, we're in one piece. We're back to the car. What a fun night, uh, Whipple Trail, super amazing. I mean, it's a butt kicker, no doubt, but so much fun. And the reward at the end with camping in that meadow, so nice, super, super cool. Sam, what you think? High, low, what was your, what was your, High experience, low experience? High experience, um, just being up at the camp. That awesome. was good. Low experience at elevation got me good. It definitely kicks your butt. <laughs> well, that was definitely one for the books. Check that one off again. Happy to have done it and gotten all the way up to the meadow and found some water. So another beautiful night off in the woods. What more can you really ask for? So. Thanks for watching. Hey, as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me get out and go on more adventures and put more of these videos together. So leave a like, leave a comment, say what's up, say hi, and uh, bring plenty of water. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Catch you out on the next one.